Imagine going through all the trouble of having a baby. You wait around 9 long months till it finally pops out and then BOOM! Ugly baby. There's many such cases. And sure, the ladies that want designer babies can just head down to the Burlington Sperm Factory, browse through the catalog, and find their favorite flavor of 6 foot 5, Dolph Lundgren, Diesel, Giga Chad, and have their uterus feast on elite baby batter so that they can pop out the next phase of human evolution. But if you're a guy, you might be thinking that your options for having a non-garbage test tube baby are kind of limited. Well, you'd be wrong. What if I told you that there actually was some mail-order eugenics for the fellas? A man named Ron Harris has you covered with his website where you can browse through images of supermodels and, if you so choose, for a reasonable fee, receive their eggs for you to nut on. I mean, alright, I guess I'm oversimplifying the science a bit. It's not like she's the Little Mermaid. It was the Little Mermaid you would hook up by jizzing on her eggs. Sorry to ruin your fantasy, but she's a fish and that's just how it works. So for today's episode of Tales from the Internet, let's take a look at Ron's Angels. This video was sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based RPG that you can play both on your mobile devices and your PC. It has 10 challenging dungeons, each with their own different strategy to complete, with great rewards that will help you build stronger teams, and a fully voiced campaign that spans 12 different locations. Build champions from all the 13 unique factions such as Dwarves, Orcs, and Undead. There's 460 unique champions in all. Over 200,000 active clans and over 25 million players worldwide that you can take on in the arena. With all the different ways that the champions can complement each other, there's unlimited ways to play this game. And last month, Raid just released their biggest update ever. The main event here being the Doom Tower, a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously difficult bosses to take on. If you want to get a huge head start in Raid, all you have to do is hit the link in the description, and if you're a new player, get your free Void Champion Bulwark, 50 gems, an XP booster, some energy refills, and even an Ancient Shard as soon as you get in-game. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. And find me in-game under the name Wang, if you're quick enough you can join my clan. And it's that easy, just click the link in the description and I'll see you in the game. By the time 1999 came around, photographer Ron Harris had seen it all. A storied career of working with some of the most beautiful women around the world. In both still photography and, perhaps most famously, the 80s erotic workout video Aerobicize, which gained popularity with its airings on Showtime and left many Gen Xers with some of their most cherished formative memories. The unfortunate thing about models, though, in the rare case where they're actually getting paid, it's often not enough to make ends meet. They didn't have OnlyFans back in those days. And that's when Ron came up with the brilliant idea. You see, beautiful women have beautiful babies. And these models aren't planning on getting pregnant anytime soon, so why not sell their eggs? Ron sets up an auction website for it takes a cut of the profits and everybody wins. Thus, the website Ron's Angels is born. Welcome to Ron'sAngels.com, the only website that provides you with the unique opportunity to bid on eggs from beautiful, healthy, and intelligent women. That's right, on Ron'sAngels.com, with starting bids ranging between $15,000 and $150,000, you too can bid on your very own supermodel eggs. Each model had a page with a profile including a photo of their statistics such as age, blood type, and height, their parents' ages, race, and why they were doing this. Some of your lovely egg donor options included Model 117, a 25-year-old student who is selling her eggs to afford college and facilitate her acting career. She has a 3.0 grade average and loves animals. Model 88, a 20-year-old Romanian model selling her eggs so she can move to the USA. Model number 10, a 29-year-old pop artist selling her eggs to facilitate her career in pop art. Buyer beware though, her breasts are not real. At some point, Ron also expanded the business to include a sperm donor. Model 89, aka Perfect Health Heterosexual Businessman. And if you felt like your goods were up to snuff, you could take a picture, send over some basic information, and apply to be a donor for Ron yourself. 
It's the kind of thing that sounds like it's probably illegal, but you're kind of not sure, and it's also the early days of the internet, so you're never really sure about anything when it comes to legality. At that time, basically everything is uncharted territory. But just to keep things safe, Ron made sure to indicate in the disclaimer on his website that this was merely a venue for the sale, and not a place where actual medical procedures were being facilitated. You're not just gonna get an envelope full of eggs in the mail from Ron. The site gets a ton of attention really quickly just for being such an absurd, outrageous concept. Over 5 million views in the first week. And then on October 23rd of 1999, a journalist for the New York Times named Carrie Goldberg blows the lid off the whole operation. On web, models auction their eggs to bidders for beautiful children. The topics of high fees for egg donations was already a bit of a hot topic at this time. There had only just recently been a controversy where college newspapers were filled with ads soliciting egg donations for $50,000. In the article, she talks about the disgust this website caused among fertility specialists. Mr. Harris's melding of Darwin-based eugenics, Playboy-style sensibilities, and eBay-type commerce struck some infertility specialists as the most worrying sign yet of where the partly unregulated field of assisted reproduction may be going. Shelley Smith, director of the Egg Donor Program, a center in Los Angeles, said, It's frightening and horrible. And the worst part for me is to think there might be something worse still beyond our imagination. It seems to escalate, and ever since the internet, it seems to snowball more rapidly. The depersonalization of people and selling of eggs. Carrie Goldberg also spoke to Ron Harris himself, who defended his website saying that the criticisms were basically just a case of political correctness run amok. The way he puts it, since all women are not the same, the cost of their eggs should be based on their perceived value. The article continues the discussion with experts based on the ethics of the situation as well as the usual protocol for this sort of thing. They note that typically an egg donor would be selected based on her traits and then paid between $2,500 and $5,000 to cover her time and discomfort. And other doctors noted that when it comes to this, people aren't necessarily guaranteed to get what they're paying for. Intelligent parents aren't necessarily going to have intelligent children. And good-looking parents aren't necessarily going to have good-looking children. Can you imagine paying $150,000 for supermodel babies and then they just pop out on their uggos? Or even worse, can you imagine being the disappointingly ugly baby? Kinda awkward. As more outlets picked up on the story, though, suspicions started to arise that this was a hoax. In part, due to the fact that clicking around on the website would eventually lead you to Ron's porn site. A porn site that included pictures of several of the models that were supposedly selling their eggs. And with that in mind, I can't help but wonder if this was originally conceived as some kind of a fetish thing. A lot of how the site is made reminds me a bit of those cannibal roleplay sites that I came across in the Armin Mivis video. The profiles with all of the statistics of the women and the application process. Perhaps there are people who got off to the idea of selling their eggs to the highest bidder. In any case, people monitoring this website also noticed that none of these bids ever seemed to go up. Although as the site continued to receive negative attention, several of the models asked to be removed from it. So really, what was the deal here? A few people raised the idea that this website was merely a publicity stunt to drive traffic to his actual business, the porn site. And indeed, it turned out that Ron Harris did have a history of trying all different ways to promote his various porn sites. Although it was typically less imaginative stuff like spamming news groups until his sites got put into spam blockers, and when you look into the story, pretty much anywhere you look will declare that it is a hoax, but Ron himself never conceded this. To the very end, he maintained that this was a legitimate auction site. And he also said that his experience as a photographer uniquely qualified him for this line of work. What are my credentials, Harris boasts? I am a renowned fashion photographer and director for 40 years. And in case you doubted his past experience, he adds, I have been an Arabian horse breeder. He also declared that due to his specialized knowledge on this topic, he had spent the last 20 years working on a book that would detail his theories of genetics. 
Unfortunately, the book never came out. Two of the models that worked on the site also spoke to reporters and claimed that yes, it was real. One said that she wanted the money for college, and another said that she wanted it so she wouldn't be dependent on men. In response to his website, the American Society for Reproductive Medicine even published a report on the commodification of human egg donations. In the report, the ASRM urges that such high fees should not be paid for eggs as it might cause women to discount the small but real health effects. It also urges against paying more for specific traits, referring to the practice as positive eugenics. So what do I think? Was it a hoax? Kind of. What I think happened is that Ron probably heard about the college newspaper scandal, the one where people were selling eggs for $50,000, and it got the gears turning a little bit. Knowing what a controversy this stirred up, he saw the opportunity for publicity, and it worked. I doubt that any actual sales were made through this website. But that being said, hypothetically, if a serious buyer were to come through this website, and attempt to buy these eggs, I think he would have done it. Considering that it wasn't illegal and the plan was always to have the separate medical arrangements made off the website, why the fuck wouldn't he do it? But that being said, I also can't help but think that on some level, Ron was trying to make a point through satire on his website. You look at some of the things he wrote on there and it's just dripping with it. Beauty is its own reward. This is the first society to truly comprehend how important beautiful genes are to our evolution. Just watch television and you will see that we are only interested in looking at beautiful people. From the network anchors, to supermodels that appear in most advertisements, our society is obsessed with youth and beauty. As our society grows older, we inevitably look to youth and beauty. The billion dollar cosmetic industry, including cosmetic surgery, is proof of our obsession with beauty. It is not our intention to suggest that we make a super society of only beautiful people. This site simply mirrors our current society, in that beauty usually goes to the highest bidder. And my belief that Ron was engaging in social commentary with this website is furthered by a statement that he made in an interview with an old porn website, forporn.net. In 1981, Ron operated a photo studio in La Brea Boulevard. After taking aerobics classes to stay in shape, he created TV's first aerobics exercise program, Aerobicize. It premiered on Showtime, 7481. There are all these beautiful girls on a rotating turntable that turned all the boys on. People Magazine called me the King of Jiggle. Is this man trying to turn the country on or get the country in shape? A couple of people called me the father of erotica. I never came to terms with the erotica part. I would not go into pornography. In my head, I am not a pornographer. I'm an artist. I have no doubt in my mind that a man like this, a pornographer that fancies himself an artist, might have been attempting to criticize our society's obsession with beauty by taking it to an extreme end, much in the way that Jonathan Swift attempted to criticize the treatment of the poor by suggesting cannibalism. Or maybe it was just a porn site. In any case, Ron Harris passed away in 2017, so I guess we'll never know for sure. But anyway, that's the story of Ron's Angels. If you like this video, check out my video about the people who live streamed their virginity. Also, I just put some patches on the merch store. Check them out.